Oh. Shoot. Without hitting that tree. I was attempting to put my fly right up against the log near the far bank. Oh yeah. Yep. You oh yeah. That, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in BC, Canada, fishing one of the most beautiful trout streams I've ever seen. Going after some cutthroat. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, it's it's a small little creek or stream. We can wade all over, hopefully dry fly fishing for cutthroats. Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah, you bet. Stick around, I think this will be an awesome show. I was casting a dry fly into a deep pool. Yeah, that's a good fish too. Oh shoot, lost it. Darn it. Oh, that's, oh, that's that a big a, fish. That was a bigger one. I gotta be a little more patient on that guy. That's a bigger fish, Steve. That's a bigger fish. It's a nice crystal mountain clear pool. Shoot! Golly darn it! It's a big fish. Bummer. And I lost it. I don't know why. Bummer. Oh, he came up. Oh, there he got it. Oh, shoot. Gosh, look at it. I know it's not your fault. It's I just, know. oh, God. Check the hook on that thing or something, yeah. man. Yeah. How many of those did you get a hook into? <laughs> Three at least. Okay. Maybe four, shoot. And I could have put them all down, you know? Yeah. Every single one that was in here. Maybe we'll try nymphing it real fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beauty. Gosh darn it, that was a, another 16, 18 inch fish. Why? <laughs> Finally got one hooked, and it has to be the smallest <laughs> one out of there. Yep. I've hooked. And you know what? Not only that, it's a dang white fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Oh, man, I hope things change around today. Yep. Well, I gotta say, this is probably the most frustrating situation I've ever experienced fly fishing. The most beautiful hole imaginable. 16 to 18 inch fish rising to my dry fly. Hooking them, losing them. And then finally, of course, get the six inch white fish. Not please. <laughs> Boy, that's a good looking hole. Oh, it My sure goodness. is. Yeah, so you're up. You want to try dry flying there? I or? think so, and I'll probably kind of start right in here and work my way up towards the head if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good. Steve cast his fly into a deep pool and allowed it to drift naturally in the current. All right. Nice little take and a uh, little cutthroat. Ah. About a six incher, maybe something like that. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, better than what I've done. I haven't got him in yet. It's a feisty six incher. Yeah. All right, nice little cut on the dry. Cut him on the purple haze. 
It's been a great cutthroat fly here in British Columbia. And uh, hopefully there's some bigger ones in there. It's a beautiful looking hole. It's gotta be some big cutthroats in there. Awesome, yeah. Steve tried to cast near the head of the pool. That's a little better fish. It's awesome. Still not huge, but a nice little trout. Let's see if I can get him out. Really cool take. Came up right out of that faster water. Awesome fishing. That's a pretty nice trout. A 12 incher. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, maybe 10. I don't know. That's cool. He came up out of the faster water. So far, both the fish have been more in fast water. That's cool. Beautiful cutthroat. Nice fish. Boy, a nice, nice cutthroat trout. It's got a really cool spot on its perculum there. Oh, look at him go into that hole. That's pretty sweet. Nice trout up in the faster water so far. That's where they've both been. I thought they'd be in this deep stuff, but so far they've been up in the head in the fast water. So cool. Might be more. All right. This this fly has gotten pretty wet and soaked and sinking, so I'm gonna dry it out. We use this desiccant powder. Try not to hook yourself. Put it in the desiccant. Get the lid down, not too tight, because you don't want to pinch your line. Shake it up. Get the powder on there. It takes all the moisture out of the fly. Hopefully that's the idea. Blow off the powder so it doesn't color the fly white. And then put on a little bit of floatant, and you're good to go. Gorgeous yeah. forever. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Head for the next hole? Yeah, I think so. I don't know where it's going to be. Maybe up by those cliffs up yeah, there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. Come on. Be there. I could get a little closer. Yeah. Without hitting that tree. I was attempting to put my fly right up against the log near the far bank. Oh yeah. Yep. You oh yeah. That boy. Nice. <laughs> there was a cut right by that log. Steve, Steve predicted it. I thought, oh, come on, man. Wow, it's a good, it's a decent fish too. Yeah, yeah, it looked good sized. Still haven't got a great glimpse of it. Trying to get as much line as I can so I don't stumble all over it. Oh boy. Oh, that's a beauty. Huh. Oh boy. Boy, that's a nice trout. Oh, it's a beauty. Wow, right out of that little teeny log yeah. in there. Awesome. <laughs> it's a gorgeous fish. It it's is. close to 16 inches that's out awesome. of that little awesome. tiny spot. Totally awesome. I got to tell you, I got to give Steve credit because he's saying, well, I'll try it over there. And I'm going, come on, man. And there it was. Gorgeous. What? A beautiful oh, cut that was. Awesome. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, Again, was. just over that little log over there, I tried to make several casts. I finally got one that was just right over it. And to my surprise, big old fish came up and hit it. <laughs> that makes up for a lot of issues that had today. <laughs> Lots of issues. Oh, yeah, that was sweet. That really was sweet. awesome. That was one of the most fun takes I've had yeah. in a long time. Very Incredible. cool. Incredible. Once in a while when you're casting, you get this fly line over the tip where it's tangled a little bit. And just to get it out, you just go over the tip and pull the line through, hopefully. You gotta feed your hooks and stuff through your flies and stuff all the way through without getting tangled. And uh, voila, takes the, 
tangle out. Oh, I like, ooh! Yeah! Yeah. Oh, I lost him. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how big it was, but it felt pretty heavy. Yeah. Once wow, I started fighting cool. it. Yeah, that's so cool. Gosh, Man. these fish can hide just about anywhere. Yeah. It looks like another good hole up there, Len. Oh, boy. Around that that bend. Ever. Just right where that ruffle comes yeah. in. Yeah. Inside seam. Nice depth. It's got good green color to it. Yeah. Steve worked his way up the bank, casting a size 14 purple haze. Oh! Boy! I saw that one come up. That's yeah. a mongo. That's a big fish. Boy. It's a big fish. Felt like your last one, I think. Beauty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's bigger than my last one. It's a lot bigger. That's huge. Boy, that's crazy. All the way up into that fast water, and that's where he took it. Come on, baby. Steve gradually worked the big cut closer. That's huge. Yeah, that's a big fish. My gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, you got it. <laughs> what Humongous. A, what a fat fish. That certainly fills the net. Yeah, it does. Gosh, this is just a huge fish. Beautiful. Yeah, I'd say close to eight, 17 inches, probably three pounds. Such a fat fish. Just unbelievable. Wow. Wow, what a fish. You know, I was a long ways away, but I could see that head just come up. And yeah, just yeah that I knew fly. it was a big fish. I wasn't sure it was that big, but I knew it was a big fish right away. And I mean, what is this whole run? Probably 100, 200 feet. Uh -huh. Worked up through the whole thing, and that it was right up at the head. And I'd made a long cast, so it was quite a ways out there, but still could see it was a big fish. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That was, that's a gorgeous cut. Man. What we've been doing is working our way through these holes first with a dry fly. And this has been the purple haze we've been using. It's been pretty effective. Um, and I'm using a uh, fairly long leader, about 12 foot leader with 5X tippet. It's a really clear small stream, so I wanna keep the tippet small. And uh, then we follow through with the nymph after we fish with the dry flies. That's a fish. There we go. It's a good one. All right. Oh yeah. I could see the big cutthroat flashing in the crystal clear water. Oh yeah. It's a good cut. Awesome. Oh boy. It's a beauty. Oh man, gorgeous fish. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Wow, that's a beautiful cut. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful cut. Gorgeous. Wow. Look at the size mm -hmm. of that fish and the small stream. There she goes. Oh, man. What a gorgeous fish. You really worked hard for that, too. Yeah, I did. I, you know, I was using. You went through it with a dry fly, worked very well. So I put on just a little teeny, teeny pheasant tail nymph and uh, let it drift through there. And I lost one fish, but then another one hit. And I think this was a bigger fish. Just a beautiful cut. Good. What size on the pheasant tail do you think? Um, I'm guessing 16, maybe even 18, just a tiny thing. So. Okay. 
Yeah, it's pretty exciting. What we're doing is we're nymphing up this water after we go through it with a dry fly and just simply using one weight and below that weight is just a tiny little pheasant tail nymph right here. And that's what that fish took. And it's pretty awesome, gotta say. <laughs> when you have a long leader, if you wanna keep your fly line from going inside the rod tip, hook it up on one of the eyes just above and then wrap it around the reel, get enough line to do that. Um, and then your fly line will always be outside the tip and won't have to pull it out each time. Why haven't you ever told me that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another fish. Yeah. Steve is now working the small pheasant tail nymph through the head of the pool. Oh, there's a fish. Fish? Yep, fish. It's not a huge one, but it's a nice cutthroat though, boy. It's a nice fish. Wow. Like first or second cast in there. Oh, that's cool. Another beautiful fish. Yeah, it's a nice, it's, yes, I don't know if it's quite as big as one you just caught, but it's a nice cutthroat, man. It's right in there. He's, oh, boy. oh, it's a nice trout. He took a pretty good run there. Well, that's a good trout. I didn't think it was that big. Steve got into position to net the fish and gradually moved it toward him. Oh, my goodness. A small little stream, and these fish are monsters. They must be incredibly productive in here. Look at that fish. Awesome. Awesome, very cool. You know, I, I really wasn't expecting right away to get a fish like that. We took the strike indicator off and uh, right away got down and got a fish. Big fish. 16 again, probably. It's yeah. crazy. Awesome fish, yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just had a great time in the spectacular river here in BC, Canada. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.